Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Mass., sponsored by North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. I'm Dave Madela. And on this episode of King of the Palace, we crown a brand new king. The number three seed, Richie Myrick, who put me to shame, faces the number one seed, and Bobby Doherty Jr., another newcomer to the King of the Palace. Let's get to the action and crown a new king. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with this week's bowlers. To my left, last week defeating our own Dave Madela with a score of 303 to 272, Richie Myrick. Welcome back, Richie. Uh, thanks, Dennis. And the number one seed to my right with a roll-off score of 435, first appearance on King of the Palace, Bobby Doherty Jr. Welcome, Bobby. Thanks for having me, Dennis. What are your thoughts about bowling against uh, Richie Myrick here? I got my work cut off for me. He's throwing a great ball. I know what kind of bowler he is. It's going to be a fun match. Awesome. And Richie, your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts are the same. He was bowling a couple lanes over for me when we qualified a few weeks back. And uh, wow, what a ball he was throwing. So uh, I got my work cut out for me as well. And I already got your thoughts. But what are your thoughts on the uh, title belt? It looks good. I hope to take it home. <laughs> well, we will be crowning a new king. And one of you will be walking away with this title belt. And we'll see one of you in the 11th box. Good luck to you both. Up first on alley three, the number one seed, Bobby Doherty Jr. This is it, people. This is for the king of the palace. Opens up with a six pin drop, leaving the one, three, six, and the nine. Ooh, just missed it. Just missed it. Bobby's Slipped. average is a 112. His high single is a 168. His high triple is a 417. And I believe he did that today. He did. He did, as a matter of fact. You have another newcomer too, right? Yes. Yeah. And it's gonna, like always, it's gonna take a few boxes to get out the jitters. First time on the show, first time on any show, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, because he wasn't old enough when Comcast was still around to be on there. So yeah. Uh, he bowls out of Ryan's Family Amusement in Malden, Mass. He's been bowling for seven years. He's in two leagues. Uh, he's on our Friday Night Pro team. He absolutely is. Oh, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Come on. Fall down. Oh. He's the 4.79 no wood. And he said his least favorite shot is a 4.7. So yeah. see what happens here. Oh, nice oh. bid. Oh, see, if you play it like that, it wouldn't be his least favorite shot anymore. <laughs> That's right. Well, he's going to leave the door open right off the bat here. So how'd you guys do last week without me? Better. I mean, not bad. Survive. We missed your partner. Better than my bowling. You had none to hang your head on. A 152? Oh, what was it? 158 or 152, Dennis? You had a 114 and a 158. 152. 272. 136 average. You had nothing to complain about. Nothing to complain. Well, I, ran in, I ran into this buzzsaw right here. Yeah, I mean, you had, you had to leave down to 17 at one point. And it just, then he started finding his rhythm again. And not like you let up either, because you were still mocking it. Just yep. he had you by too much of a deficit going in. Yeah, my problem was is I wasn't warmed up in the first string enough. Nope. But I'm not making any excuses, man. He he uh Rich he laid, he laid the wind ball. to me. Yeah, he's a phenomenal ball. I've always said it for years. Nice pick up. Is that top of the square? Opens up with his nothing. Dennis, I knew I was in trouble when he threw, opened up with that triple strike on me. I was, I was in. Uh, that was, I was hoping he hit the four bag and not, not against you. Just no, to have the yeah, first four bag ever thrown. Never, never yeah. had it on team. Never had four strikes in the wrong team. No, he's opened up with a spear. He's put the pressure on. Oh, and and how come I didn't see more of that last week? <laughs> Fills the spear with a five. It was a lot of fun. How'd you like being on TV for the first time? Um, you know what? I had a. a, a like everybody always says, a couple jitters in the first box yep. too. What a and big then, could uh, be. I just had to find my rhythm. Yep. So I just put the cameras out of your mind. And Unfortunately, my rhythm didn't start until the second string. Well, you still threw a 114, Dave, in the first string. Nothing wrong with that. No. So what we average is Richie throws a 10 box. No, I just wanted. Uh, I was just hoping that. Uh, Come on, swinging. I know. Well, I just wish it was like. Laid off the old guy for a little bit. <laughs> Rich is a nice guy, but he's not that nice. <laughs> okay, here we go. Box number three, string number one, lane number three. Probably a little uh, off an hour. MK. I think the nerves are getting a little bit here to the uh, first time appearance. I believe this is the first time he went to the qualifiers, too, right? Uh, he's been here a couple times. Oh, he's been here. Okay. Yeah. It's for the king of the palace. Everybody gets nervous. It was kind of funny is. Uh, during the qualifying match, Bobby was on one side of me and Richie was on the other side. <laughs> well, he's looking for his first mark. And he's got I believe 
Bobby actually opened up his first string with a 167. Yep. Well, with the handicap, it was like 170 something. Yeah. 173. Spectacular bowler. Yes. Still hasn't found a hit pin yet. He will. If he bowls like he did in the qualifier, he'll be all right. Absolutely. I don't know, he's, he's been sitting for a little while, and it has been cold in here, so he might be a little stiff. <laughs> that, was had, a, that was a rib on Dave. <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had no issues. <laughs> well, he's left the 1, the 7, the 9 for 10 blocks. Only for this wood to settle. And again, thank you to our sponsor, North End Mazda oh, Subaru. Our good friend, Marty Babino. Yeah. Go to buynorthend.com. The one thing I do want to say, is this, the, the, do thing I, the, the one thing I do want to say is this whole... This time around, there's been a lot of great polling. Yes. It may start off slow and then it uh, turn high paced. Fast paced? Well, there was an example of people bowling land of Richie Myra had what they call a skip lob and came up and bowling. Perfectly legal. Yes. He threw the ball before the before the lob line, released it before the foul line, and there's no rule that says that you can't do it. Exactly. Oh, what a bit on that. Could be, could, I don't know. No, Dennis. And I've uh, actually seen a skip lob land right where the pins are. Oh, it's really? still legal it's because the, it, yeah, it hit the yeah. ground before the well, lob went. Now, Dennis, you, you and Dave, David, obviously, you know, the pro league. Mm -hmm. Answer me, I believe I might have asked you this before. I've always understood that if you throw the ball and you don't handle it, it's a perfect time to hit the ball. You should not hear the ball hitting you. Correct. The lane. Is that correct? Correct. The very high degree. I, I can. There's I've only done a few, it a few people times. that, are, yeah. that yeah. can do it. Consistently, yes. I, I mean, I've done it a few times, but it's so hard to do. You leaves have to it, get down so low. Leaves a 7-10 with a whole bunch of junk on the deck. Where are you going, Dennis? Where are you going, David? Spray and pray? Any one of them? I'm going to go. Right. I'm hitting the. Right. I'm going yeah. to the right. Yeah, to the right. The wood facing the 7 to 10. Wow. There you go. Now you got the 7, but wow. you get the 10. Now well, we got a piece of dead wood way up there, so I'm going to have to go and get it. I think Ghost Rider's going to get it. No, it's going back. It's going back. Going yep. back, going oh, back. Oh, wait a minute. Back. This may hit, hit it. it. No. 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 Oh, that wouldn't have got to stop it. Had a chance of probably Tough shot it. right here. Yeah, you didn't want to hit that dead wood, so. Yep. Yeah, that would have negated it. So after four, Bobby Doherty Jr. at 41, Richie Marrick at 43. Well, only 44, one mark, excuse me, only 44. Only one mark out of four, out of eight? Yeah. yeah. Well, so I think Bobby's I'm just going to ask Richie, where was this last week? <laughs> <laughs> We're here for the championship, people. This is for the king of the crowd. Yeah, I'm the county king. Uh, look at this break. Throw the ball away, David. He threw it in the ocean. He leaves up with a one three. Yep. Yeah. Nice. One two three pinner. with a piece of wood up behind what the What do you three. think, Dennis? Two pinners, seven out of ten times made? It, it, you can never tell because it's all who's born. Oh. Yeah. Once Bobby gets his first mark, though, he'll start settling down. Yeah. He should have had that one. He was just a little off on that one. But, you know what happened when um, the very first match between Rick Kamrowski and Ghost Rider? Neither one of them had a mark. And all of a sudden, one hit a mark, and all of a Boom. sudden, oh, the floodgates opened yeah. up. Nice ball. Oh, look better than that. He's a triangle. Four, seven, eight. Yeah, now look very closely. With no wood in play. Look very closely. The, the four pin has been spotted to the left. They moved. Yes, it did move. It did move. It moved. This is going to be very good. Bobby had movement. <laughs> he had a movement. <laughs> Gotta have a movement. You guys must have been bored without me. Holy Toledo. Oh, well, absolutely. No, actually, we weren't. <laughs> wow. No, I mean, we had to look all the time over to Travis. There's only one Travis Fark trying to direct us more to keep us in line. But are you here? I mean, you're the head of the pack. You're the leader of the tribe. <laughs> I'm not Richie Myron. Could put some distance between him and Bobby with a mock right here. The leader of Misfit Toys. Let's see what happens. He's off. He's off too. Oh. What do we got here, Dennis? We've had, what, six, ten, wow. ten boxes, Tough 11 leave. boxes without lead? We're up one mark. Yeah. Unbelievable. One, six, Well, you eight, called it after you bought that 165 last week. You said it can change the other way. The drop of a hat. It's drop unbelievable. Yeah. The and consistency. Not, not even yeah. from string to string, from box to box. It's, it could just switch on. Oh, oh, nice shot. That's a nice ball right he there. He did the same thing last week. He yep. missed four in a row and made a tremendous four, five pin of spare with no wood. 
This is Kane up in Bowling. This is for the King of the Palace here. Where, David? New Palace Lane in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. 78 Daniel Street. Come on down, anybody. They're Wonderful. open all the time. It's Candle Pinball. I want to thank everybody out in Facebook land, YouTube land, local access TV land. Absolutely. And if you want Cana Palace in your neck of the woods on local access, just contact your local public access provider. Just fill out a piece of paper saying that you are our advocate. They will contact us. It doesn't cost you a penny, and you can have it on. Oh, it's going to roll over. Short pin. After six, Bobby Doherty Jr. at 67, Richie Marrick, oh, excuse me, Bobby Doherty Jr. at 60, Richie Marrick at 67. Seven pin lead. Seven pin lead, four, four boxes to Is go. Is this where he turned it up on me last week? Uh, he Just threw the first strike on this one. Right. He was, he was already right. nice oh, hit nice by pitch. Bobby, a little thin, but he's left it's all right. The, he's left the two in the This is a makeable ten. shot right Very makeable. Two in the seven, excuse me. Baby, Baby split. split. And if he hits it a little right to that, which way are you line. going? A little right of the red line. There he is. This is first mark. Oh. Needed it. He got it. Now he wants the eight, nine, and ten on the field. I want to thank all the bowlers that came out. Oh, um, great, great response. Great People turnout. People here this week too. Yeah. Yep. Well, they're all over. Yeah. Okay. Dennis, David, it's Candle and Bowling. It's the tournament. It's what a pitch. Oh, oh, there what did I say? Oh, Get in there. The second he threw, threw his first mark, he would loosen up. Where are you going with this one? <laughs> no, let's Get settle down. Yeah, you almost have to cap this one. No, no, go right at the pin. I'm going right at the pin. I don't know. I, I might cap it. Leaf. I'd probably cap it. He's going right at it. He makes it. Pick up. Here we go, Bobby. Two in a row. Well, two markets in a row. Putting the pressure on Richie right now. Whoever wants the championship's got to deliver. Uh, he's no, Richie is no stranger to, to, to pressure. Because That's I, a given. Because That's I given. opened up my second string. And With four in a row, and he matched it. Yeah. Oh, that one away, but look, look at, at the, the break he look got. At the mark. Look at the break he got. It's Billy, the one and the two. There's some people saying I was throwing that ball hard. A couple of times over, yeah. A couple of times you're a little anxious, huh? but you're throwing it pretty good. Spare for Richie. Snaps him in half. Here was a case he threw a weak first ball, left an easy spare. Well, no, a relatively easy spare. You gotta capitalize on those. Yep. Richie comes out of easy hit the mass. His average is a 118, his high single is a 119. I think that's supposed wrong. to say 219. 219. Yeah. His high triple is a 469. The other basic thing is the high single and the high triple are never at the same time. No. Very rare. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Very yeah, rare. I'll buy that. Yep. Comes out of Canal Lanes and Fun Time Lanes, and he's been bowling for 25 years. And he's the co-host of the other bowling show out of Fico's. New England Candlepins. Which, well, I don't know what's happening with that. And they probably find a new house to bowl that Fico's is now closed. Wish him all the luck in the world. Nice yeah. kick off. Yeah. And now we're getting some Candlepin there bowl, we people. We got four marks in a row. I told you. Moving. Once it started happening, the floodgates will open. Oh, okay. good. Four in a row, David. You called it. Five out of six. After eight, Bobby Lawley Jr. at 89, Richie Marrick at 95. Both Number working on three, space. The foundation was oh, wow. Back for the ocean. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's still going. It's still going. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness, people. Both of them threw a weak ball and left the spear lead. One to two pin and one oh, to one pin. This is where you have to make them pay. Got to get the back. Oh, oh, there you over it. Way to capitalize Three on that Three in one. a row. He's got a turkey. Going for the eagle. Let's see what happens. Just goes to show you, Dennis and David. You throw a weak ball and you leave the fourth. Yeah. First pair. Never know. You never know. It's game up and bowling. When Bobby's not bowling, he's uh, playing golf. Loves his reptiles. Uh, and sporting four cards. Wants to give a... And he, as well as himself, he'd like to see himself on the show more. Nothing wrong with confidence. Oh, Ooh. wow. Nice pitch. No luck. He just had three foot. He had six pins up. He hit his object into the pocket. He only took two. Oh, now he only, he only ends up in an eight block. 120 string for Bobby Darty oh, Jr. Nothing to snob at that one. No. Found it in the second half. Three in a row. 
Let's see what Richie has to answer. Well, we just put a couple marks here. He's got to put some long distance between them. He's opposite of the spare nine. He's on the spare. And he answers. Deuce. My favorite shot. Only a deuce. I almost picked that up. Did you see With that? that fill, Richie's yeah, oh, actually. Yeah, yeah, you almost had yeah. it. A little bad luck. They should have fallen. Uh, I was a little too full on it. With that uh, two fill, Richie's actually down a pin. Great bid on that, though. No luck. Hopefully he gets out of this with a 10. But I don't like that wood. But believe it or not, it's a big 10 box. Oh, that one out of two. Right. I'll take Nine that. Bucks. One to go. Right now, Richie's down six. He's up against an eight box. This is for the king of the palace. This is for the the world championship belt of bowling. The, the king of the palace. The dude. world title belt, baby. The world title. And only exists where? The new palace lanes on Daniel Street in Fitchburg. That's what we're oh. oh. Talk about pressure bowling. Talking about a crash. There's only one place to go for the king of the palace, the new palace lanes. This will be the last handicap match of this season for season three. So whoever wins this will become the new title holder. And we'll have to see, he'll have to wait until September to start a season four to defend it. That's a nice long reign. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Wow. Four, four. Four. That's right. 120. We have a tie. Yeah, it's even. After it's the first ring, both pulls at 120. Couldn't ask for anything better. Our game. Once again, I asked, where was that last week? <laughs> David, well, the 120. I'm better. Oh, I know. Just I like mean, Dennis. What is. De well, I'm what? over mine. Richie Myrick. Here it is. Even match. Opens up. He's a spare lead. Six and ten. But once again, Dennis, not as easy as it no. looks. No, it's not. I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, North End Mazda Subaru. My good friend, Marty Babino. In Lunenburg, Massachusetts. Visit buynorthend.com. Oh, just missed it. And as Dave said, this is the last 80% handicap king of the palace for the regular season. Next month, May 30th, will be a scratch event. There will be so, no handicap. Yep, so while yep. you're... Are we still did because we still got a crown of king? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Whoever's the king of the scratch event will come back the following scratch event as the king. And whoever's the 80% champ comes Ch back as the next hey, champ of the 80% yeah, okay. handicap. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dennis, for explaining that to the... Yeah, one of, well, somebody asked me yeah. that, so I had to have yeah. Dave clarify that. Well, that so, that's very good. So we're going to have two separate champs. Yep. Two separate champs? Absolutely right. We're going to have two belts? No. No, same belt. But we are thinking of having a kid show, hopefully. Next season, we're going to try to get that in the works. Good. Now, with this three and two up, is this a version of the Greek church league, or does it have to be the, the nine pin? It has to be a triangle. A triangle. Okay, I stand corrected. Thank you, Dennis. I can't. I just, pick up here. There's some things I just don't recall, you know. Let's keep it. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice shot. Three and two. What an excellent can of pin shot. Got a question of the week from Keith Bukovich in Wayne, Michigan. What is the highest camel pin average you have seen or bowled against? Oh, it's good. Uh, Tommy Olsen. 132. Oh, that you bowled against. You bowled against Tommy Olsen? Oh, no. That I bowled against? Yes. Yeah, Gordon Crawford, 126. In my league years ago. Oh, oh, oh he waggled it. Uh, Dennis, you? Bowling on the Friday Night Pro League, I bowl against many bowls with 130 plus averages, so oh. it's, it's hard to pinpoint just one. Dennis, uh, David? Mm. You got Bobby Wickham, Jeff Surratt, Chris Sargent. I mean, Somebody that I bowled against? Yeah. Jonathan Grove. Yeah, you did face him head-to-head. -head -to -head. yeah, yeah, and he wiped my... <laughs> I think at the time he was averaging like 127. Yeah. Oh, oh no. There you go. No, no, not in the it championship It wouldn't be the championship match that's without a Dread that's Eagle, that's eagle that's baby. Yep. Oh, my goodness. The poor bowler. He wants it so bad. He hits the head pin, and what happens? The spread eagle. Oh. Wow. Nice, wow. Try. nice bit, bit on it. it. Nice try. Oh. My, my philosophy is, is a lot of people have different ways of hitting it. My favorite way to hit it is hitting the 1-3 pocket because I'm a right-handed bowler. Yep. 
I've seen a lot of left-handed bowlers try to shoot it over. Wow. You know, try to shoot the 1-3 over, and I keep telling them, you're a left-handed bowl. Throw it, throw it to the 1-2 pocket. Mm -hmm. Or the 2-4 pocket. Right that's, here, your yeah. Natural, yeah. that's your natural gate to yeah. throw, and you'd have a better shot to it up. But I constantly see it all the time. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all preference. You know, all whatever's preference. someone's more comfortable bowling. Well, big shot here for the... Which is lead off now. I think he overthrew that one a little bit too. I used that thought. last week. Get over it. <laughs> They're like you tell me, get over it. Well, some people can't do no, it. No, you get nothing to hang your head out. No, out, though. That was great yeah, ball. Dan, they, I David your ball at 152. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Still might go. Is he going to steal it? Oh, the oh. 10 pin says no, thank you. Head rocked. It just didn't go. Well, we took a sigh of relief on that Dennis, one. Dennis, answer the question. The pin got hit. Why didn't it fall down? Didn't get hit either. <laughs> there it goes. Get up and go. Thus far, thus far out of this match, Marek is only left. He's not standing. He's just, he's in the zone. Even when he's off the mark, he's getting these 10 boxes. There it is. The 10 pins just sitting there ready to be knocked off. That was almost a double pinochle right there. These are the four seven. Oh, piece of wood in the front. This wood. Oh, this is where you have to take a little off. Yeah. yeah. You just you gotta tap it very slowly. You gotta red go to the, the right of the red line. You just tap it. No, nope, he didn't. Oh, oh he slammed it. I thought it would ricochet around, but it didn't. You never know. You don't know. Yeah. No, Bobby, let's see if Bobby can't answer the call. Oh, he's going to get at least one. for the title. Yeah. This, this is what it's all about, David. This is can up and bowling at its best. Oh, wow, there's that leave again. Same exact leave he had the last time. Four, five, the four, five, seven. Oh, where are you going? Left wood, right wood? I'm going to try to hit that dead wood on the right tip. Yeah. Just like, oh, like that. Like that. Nice pick up. What a shot by Bobby Garvey Jr. The four five seven. Albeit with a little bit of wood. Professional scorekeeper Ramble putting the spear up there. Still a nice check, shot. Put it in check mark. That's two. a confidence booster too right there. Sure. No, shot he's got, a shot oh, like that. He's got the, 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 the arm swing going. Yeah. So he's, he's feeling it now. Yeah, he's got the five and the eight. Should be a nice takeout spear. But he needs this box to box. He's actually up five, but he's up against a spear right now. Match it. Let's see what happens. He smooth the lip. Oh, oh, oh short boy. pin. Wow. What happened with that box? Dave shaved the pins down too much. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, you never know. Well, we haven't capped on that in a while. He is the owner. Uh, he is the owner. Do, do, do you know, that there's a rumor that a certain somebody won the Twin City Championship. Yeah, fair club. Yeah, he did. The, the beat, Phenomenal ball. The beat division. After four, Bobby Gardner Jr. at 50, Richie Monarch at 45, working on his spear. I wonder who that person was. I don't know, the same DM? person that got his tail kicked out. <laughs> by Richie Myrick. That was disappointing. He wanted that spear. Big ball. Big ball. Big ball. Oh, oh, he found that goes his hammer up in the air. Yeah, he's very animated and he's very good on the mic, which is, you know, I like that fact because I, I like to have someone that's going to be loose when I'm interviewing him. Not really stiff, you know, can't, can't even get a conversation going with him. Right. Well, he's found it. Three boxes out of four with Max. Let's see what happens. Let's see if he gets it. Oh. There it is. A double strike for Richie Myrak in the fifth and the sixth boxes. Talk about putting the pressure on. This is it, people. This is for the championship. I feel Bobby's pain. This is it. Well, Bobby's not that far behind. He can. He throws a couple marks up here himself. He's, he's right in it. He's, yeah. he's right in it. Box to box, he's only down five. Right there. Oh, he's got some wood to work yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, that's good yeah. though. He actually wanted that head pin to stay up. He has a better shot at making this. He's got to nail the head yep. pin right on, I'd say. Dead yeah, center. to the left of it. To the left of it. Left to it. The one, seven, nine, ten with a lot of junk on the deck. Oh, you're kidding me. Wow. Ball wow. actually I mean, he looked hit. up to the bowling guards and said, what the? They robbed them. The yeah. bowling guards took it away. The ball actually hit the, 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 the seventh pin. Wow. Talk this is where he yeah. just needs to settle down and just throw yep. a handle right now. Yep, set it and forget it. Talk about it, yeah. This is it, people. This is we're coming down to the nitty gritty. Five final boxes. This is it. Four boxes left for Bobby. Oh, look at this. 
in the ocean and he gets a break. Hey, everything's still coming up though. Hold on. One, two, three. A little oh. bunch of junk. Wow. Behind him. Got five pins on the deck behind him. All he's got to do is hit the head pin and that should go. Yeah. This is it. This is for the king of the palace. Oh, there it goes. Gets robbed on one and comes back and makes the. What are you going to do? After six, Bobby Doherty Jr. at 70 working on a spear. Richie Marek at 85 working on a double strike. Yeah, let's see what he can do. Will we see another triple? When did he get the triple two weeks ago or last week? Uh, oh, against uh, against that fellow. What's his name? Uh, David. David. What's his uh, name? Some clown. Yeah. David Mattel. <laughs> a little off on that one. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you what, horseman. it's a beautiful thing to watch. But it's bad when it's bold against you. Exactly. Yeah. It's good, boy. You always want that person on your team. 81. So you don't want to bowl against it. Gets a spear. The four horsemen, one, two, four, seven. Gets a spear here, he's got another eagle. He's got a, he's got a turkey right now. Probably would have settled down. Oh, just missed the head just missed Ooh, it. look at that. And get back to that shaving in the pin comment. I don't, if it's a uh, short pin, I don't cut them in half. I think you cut them in quarters. <laughs> I shave an eight off. Got you on that one. Oh, God. <laughs> And as always, we, we welcome comments on Facebook, YouTube. I comment quite a bit myself when we sponsor everyone. Uh, let us know where you're from. If we haven't given you a shout-out, let us know where you're from. We'll give you a shout-out. You know, I have to... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. oh, my yes. good. That's why wanted that a box earlier. Could have had five in a row. Bobby's got his work cut out for him right now. Got to go for this so he's on a spear right now, so he'd love to. He needs, he needs to throw him on. You know, the one, the one thing I can definitely say is, uh, you know, I read all the comments on YouTube, and the best thing that I can say is, for me, is if somebody emails me through Facebook, I will. I always answer. Oh, seven Phil. You know, it's very nice um, to know David to the fans out there in Canada, and you know, let us know where you're from. For season four, nice nice job. This is what Bobby needs to do right now. Even if you can't throw him, spear out. Yep. Let us know where you're from. Let us know who's watching, where you're yep. watching. You know, share it on your Facebook page. You know, we we have viewers from uh, oh, oh. Massachusetts to Florida to Texas, California, Canada. Yeah, oh, even oh. Switzerland. Oh, look at this, oh, Nigel. You, Dennis, you're right. Yeah, he needs to keep, out. just keep plugging. Yep. Oh, this should be. Uh, this might be a little tough. Big spear leaf, yeah. Tough pickup right here. If he caps that, like if, if it's not even there, I go at it like it's not even there. Yeah. Cap that wooden. Plug it. There, there you go. go. Keep nice it running. Pickup. He's got a turkey. Two nine drops in a row. He makes them both. After it's eight, Bobby Doherty Jr. at 106 working on the spear. Richie Marrick at 119 working well, on a strike. Both. Well, obviously, obviously, it all depends upon what. Yeah. 13 pin lead for Richie Myrick right This now. is it, people out there in bowling. This is for the King of the Palace, David, Dennis. This is what it's all about. It's Candlepin Bowling. You want to wear the belt, the greatest championship belt in the history of the world. The, the, only, the, only, the only one that, that we know of. That we championship. Know of. So want to take, wide. Want to take, while well, I have time, want to, want to thank the, our sponsor, North End Master oh. Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. Our good friend, Marty. Visit. Marty Babino and his crack staff. Um, if, while you're online, visit North End, by North End .com. Um, I want to thank all the viewers in local access land, um, Facebook land, YouTube land. Um, Disneyland? Disneyland. Um, I want, want to thank all the bowlers. I want to thank FATV because without any of you, and of course, Stephen Dennis for making season three such a great success. Um, making season three one of the best ones that we've had so far and the award-winning King of the Palace. That's right. The one uh, Bridgeburg Access TV granted us with the award for on-air personalities of the year. Okay. <laughs> so we're doing a great job, apparently. <coughs> no. But none of this would be possible without Travis. Oh, without the outstanding, no. outstanding executive producer. He doesn't get enough. Recognition. There's, only one tra there's only one Travis Fall. He has the OEPD. Oh boy, this is. No, this is not too bad. Know, yeah, but if he doesn't make this spit, then it's, we get a shot. Bobby, yeah. Yeah, two marks Bobby in needs him yeah. to miss this, is yeah. what yeah. Bobby needs. Well, if he gets a spit here, it's going to force him to get a double strike. So. This is the shot. And. Wow. 
picks it up. We talk about pressure bowling. Oh, Richie is phenomenal on the pressure. Unbelievable. What's that? Five out of seven? Six out of eight boxes? Six out of ten boxes this string. Unbelievable. That's right. That's a five pin spear again. Muffy gets a strike. Yeah, he does. Wow, he drops a bomb. Yep, there it is. Two string, two, 157 string, two string total of 277. Wow. 106 for Bobby right now, working on the spear, so he's at 226. Bobby needs 52 pins. It's not impossible. Nope. He needs a double. Come on. No, it's still not impossible. No. Pick oh, this up eight, here. Eight there, so that's a 114. He's going to pick this up. Box to box, Bobby's down 14, so. Yeah, but even if he made the spear. No, he's still, he still would have been mathematically in it. But he's still mathematically in it. Mm -hmm. He just has to. Well, he would have needed, he would have needed a double strike I four. Didn't see was that good or not. I didn't, wasn't paying attention. Let's see what Amber's picking. She's got an uh, eight box, Phil, and uh, nine. Nine. Professional scorekeeper Amber. 14, so Bobby needs 25 pins in this last box. Oh. Come on, roll it down. And that's it. Richie Myrick is the new king of the palace. No, even if he got a triple. Yes. That's a 150. Yeah, he's down 14. Oh, and let's, let's see how Bobby finishes. Oh, no, 34. No, that's right. He wouldn't. Yeah, he I wouldn't misread win. that. Yeah. He needed, he needed a triple. Yep. So, congratulations to Richie Oh, Myrick. yeah. No one needed for that pickup. Bobby's saving face on he's this. He's going to bowl a 140 game and still lose. It's amazing. And David bowled a what? A 158 or something? 158, second string. And he, and and he lost by 31. He yeah. lost by the hit. It's still great, ball, great ball. Ball. That's, that's what we it, love to see on the show, that's though. That's right. Absolutely. This whole tournament has been nothing but great ball. Great ball. Ball. And I love it. We're going to go out and crown a new king once again. And May 30th next month. Hopefully, we'll have a much more ball with all the uh, scratch yeah, tournament. Month after month. Congratulations uh, to Richie on becoming the new king of the palace. For the final king of the palace, 80% handicap of season three. Great bowling by everybody. Uh, Bobby threw a 137 at string for a 257 two string total. Richie Myrick with 277 for a 20 pin lead. Bobby had eight spears and no strikes. Richie Myrick had seven spears and four strikes. Yeah, that's what total difference. To the All right, well, let's get to the Spread Eagle Challenge. The Spread and Eagle then after Challenge. that, we will talk to our new champion. And Crown the King. Up first for the Spread Eagle Challenge, our second place finisher in the King of the Palace, Bobby Doherty Jr. Yep, here it is, everybody. He throws a good ball for this. Yes, it's very good. Go. Oh, yeah. Went left. That's still working. I believe it was hit last month, wasn't it? It was. Yep. Up Jason now. Jason Galtier Sr. Up now, the reigning King of the Palace champion, Richie Myrick. And don't be surprised if you see him back next month for the uh, scratch tournament and become the king then. He'd be a double well, king. He would have to after what he threw. Oh, oh nice pickup. Right Congratulations nice again to the new reigning king of the palace for season three, G. Myrick. Now, let's get to Dennis Nuzzle in the 11th box and let's crown that king. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with the new king of the palace, Richie Myrick. Congratulations, Richie. You ran the ladder. You just destroyed everyone in your path. And the last person you beat was Bobby Doherty Jr. with a score of 277 to 257. How do you feel about your bowling? Uh, I feel terrific. I mean, the uh, last three weeks have been phenomenal. I've had three great matches. And again, Bobby was no exception. Th throwing 250-something and losing, that's a, that's a tough way to go. Yeah, ex exactly. And it's just, it just great bowling all around. The whole, the whole ladder series is just phenomenal bowling. And Dave? is going to present you with the title belt, which is well-deserved. Congratulations. And the season three, King of the Palace champion, my friend. Oh, awesome. Thanks for kicking my tail <laughs> <laughs> and making me work for it. Oh, thanks, Dave. Thank Congrats. you, guys. Congratulations, Appreciate it. Richie. Awesome. And Richie, welcome back the next 80% handicap tournament as the reigning king. Next month, 
the May 30th session will be a scratch tournament, which Richie could back, come back and take that one and be a double king. Who knows? You gonna try out for that one? I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll see. And now you're gonna take the king's option in the next 80% handicap. I don't think so. Well, it's, it's hurt everyone so far, so you might be smart on that one. Thank you for everyone for tuning in. We'll see everyone next month for the King of the Palace.